YouTube, what's up, man? Thank you guys so much for the support for the Befriending the Bot series. I really think this series is going to take off and help all you guys become better man players. Um, I said 200 likes. I've dropped a new video. We got up to 400 likes in what in one day. So for this video, once this one gets to 500 likes, I'll drop another one. I have about four or five of these already in the cut, ready to go to help you guys become better man players. Now, last one. We talked about zone coverage, cover two. And I, I mean, we can go on cover three, cover four, cover six. Cover, there are so many different zones we can use in this game and so many different zones that uh, opponents use against us that we can learn how to attack them and really move the ball properly and also prevent our opponent from moving the ball. Now, this one, I want to talk about man coverage. Some of the basics of man coverage that people have been using since, I mean, since these tactics were put in the game and some tactics that people use when they send all out pressure or when they send or when they want to play coverage is different things and you can manipulate your man coverage different ways uh, and, and these will really improve you defensively because a lot of times when I run up against a new scheme, a, a new offense, a new formation that I haven't seen that often, you know, we're used to playing a bunch and trips and, and shotgun tight and things like that. But when they come out with a, a doubles or they come out with a nice little RPO scheme, I like going to two man under just to get a couple drives just to find out. Um, what type of plays they have in their arsenal, what route combinations they like, and where they like to go with the football. So two-man under, I know it's not not as powerful as it's been in past mans. It's still pretty good. Man is really effective. Press is effective. So uh, I, it's definitely something I like to have in the arsenal, and I will show you guys different ways to manipulate the man coverage and help your defense slow down the opponent. Uh, we're going to be using the Eagles. Now, I know you guys know I'm an Eagles fan. Fly, Eagles, fly. But uh, the secondary isn't that good. Now, in Mutt, right now, I've, I assume all you guys have 99-speed DBs, whether it be Dion or the Lattimore. That new Denzel Ward car looks really fast. Night Train Lane is a dog. Uh, so everybody's 99-speed. Now, this, uh, this, the little things I'll, I'll tell you guys, it, it can help hide some of your corners. If you guys watch me, and you can watch me play twitch.tv slash dub dot, that link is below. Now, you guys can watch me play. I've ran with Pat Pete and... Um, who uh Jalen Ramsey so much uh throughout Madden and people always tell me they're slow but some of these tactics we'll show you guys will help kind of hide some of your slow secondary if you guys are playing in CFM and maybe uh your DBs are not 95 speed and they're having trouble with 94 speed wide receivers whatever it may be these are a couple tactics that can help you hide that speed differential and make you guys better defensive players now we're going to go here. We're in practice mode. We got the Eagles. Like I told you, Jalen Mills and Darby, they're not the fastest guys. But we're running just a little two-man under here against Spread. Uh, spread has four wide receivers. Now, two-man under has everybody manned up, everybody lined up. And, and most of the time, what I like to do is press here. Now, press will run a play and show you guys what happens when we press. Most every receiver engages. The DBs engage. And right there, Craven LeBlanc locks up that play, right? Now we'll watch we'll watch in the, the practice, we'll watch in the replay and show you every single player just engages. And you see over here, Avante Maddox is killing uh is absolutely killing Golden Tate. Over here in the slot, Cravon is is blanketing 81. Now on the fades on the outside, obviously Jalen Mills is not the fastest. He gets beat pretty good with a good pass. That's over the top, but that's why we have our safety right there to stop that. Same thing on the other side. You see. Ronald Darby, who's actually a fast corner, getting absolutely smoked. Now, one thing about the press, it's really good. It slows down the receivers at the line. But once they get off that press, most wide receivers have an advantage. You see right there, that's a touchdown in this game if there's no safety. But we have Rodney McLeod there to stop that. Now, I will show you what I like to do to kind of prevent that. Like, if I'm expecting four verticals or something like that, what you can do is press and then shade up. Now, we talked about shading for cover two. Uh, whether it was shade down and then recloud the guys on the outside or shade up to make sure everybody plays back and give up the underneath. You can also do that in man coverage. Now, when you press and now play over the top, that's what we'll do is press down and play over the top up on the right stick. Now, watch the difference in my DBs after the snap now. When uh, Daniel Jones snaps the ball and you just see everybody absolutely. And we saw them too. Those two fade routes, as Saquon's a goon, those two fade routes on the outside, which were touchdowns earlier, we'll also look at them now. After I do that shade up on the coverage, you'll see Jalen Mills just five yards off the ball here. Right at the snap of the ball, he's backpedaling. He's not trying to engage. He is bailing out. He is guarding over the top, essentially. 
you know, so you won't get beat on a fade no matter how fast. It, well, like I said, if you have if you have you know a five speed, if you're five speed slower, eventually he's going to run by him. But if you're within two or three speed, you can cover this, and then when they throw the ball up, big body him out to get position and make the interception. And we'll go over here to the other one, Ronald Darby, who was a touchdown earlier. He got absolutely smoked on the press. Boom. Now look look at that. How are you going to burn that coverage? You're just not going to burn that coverage deep. So essentially, if I do that, now I can do something like this. As we press, play over the top, now we can go purple, purple. We can go yellow, yellow, something like this, you know? That way, I know I'm not going to get beat deep because I shaded over the top, right? So now I can go ahead and run the play. We're not going to give up any plays over the top. If I can try to guard Saquon here, there's nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball because we had those underneath routes or them underneath zones and we had the shade over the top. We had the shade over the top um man coverage, which will not get beat deep. But you know, but here we go. I will show you, but at the same time, there is a weakness to that, obviously. I mean, it can't be the most overpowered defense ever. If you run double slants and we go press shade over the top, I want you guys to see what happens now when we actually go double slants against the computer I want obviously due to Saquon the Giants should get Saquon the ball as much as possible we'll see if I can cover him and see if they throw to somebody else but every slant is going to be open everything underneath every hitch I, I mean Daniel Jones is doing Daniel Jones things but let's take a look at what the coverage is like against these slants hitches whip routes in routes out routes pretty much any route under 10 yards is going to be wide open as we see all three, other than Avante Maddox on Golden Tate, and actually he's open too, all four wide receivers are wide open. That's the weakness. Yes, it's great because you won't get beat on a streak, but you see just this just enormous, enormous weakness that underneath routes are wide open. Now, if you expect that, I'll turn I'll turn around and give you how to stop that. Now, what we got it's just the opposite. You'll press, and instead of shading over the top. We're going to shade underneath. Now, I want you guys to watch the press we get when we shade underneath. With the, with the Eagles DBs who aren't amazing, shade underneath, we're going to press. And once again, they throw the, throw the ball to Saquon, and we can't tackle them. But I want to show you guys the press that we get at the line. I actually, I'm going to give you another. I'm actually going to cover Saquon. So maybe, just maybe, he'll try to throw to someone else. Just absolutely smothered. Ronald Darby right there on top of a Sterling Shepard. Let's look at the replay and show you. This is press, shade underneath. So if your opponent's running a lot of hitches, a lot of slants, a lot of uh, whip routes, look at the press from my guys right now. Look at the right side. Eventually, the slot receiver gets off on the right side. Jalen Mills is just in Darius Slayton's shirt. Same thing over here, and, and Ronald Darby bags that slant route. Same thing with uh, Avante Maddox on the slot receiver, Golden Tate. Absolutely taking his money. Really hard to throw those underneath routes. But at the same time, if you press like that and they run four verticals, you could give up a touchdown. So one of the best things you can do, maybe run that two-man under, keep the deep blues, as we said, keep the deep blues, shade underneath. Uh, it's probably a really safe defense. This is probably trail technique. People do this in, in real life. This is a popular defense in the NFL, especially when you're up a lot. Uh, you don't have to worry about the run as much. Really make the quarterback throw underneath or try to fit passes in between the safeties and the wide receiver. So this is a safe defense that, that you could wind up running. One thing I always like to do is man up the guy on the running back. Because even though there's only a three-man rush, man, there's such a difference when you block the running back in a six-man protection as opposed to if you send out every receiver. So a lot of people will still be, uh, you know, still be wanting to block that running back. And uh, so if they block the running back, bam, now we have another user, we can, another person we can put in coverage. Essentially, that and that that's what what football is, and that's what playing defense is, and that's how you use this man coverage to the best of its ability. Right there, he puts the running back out, we cover the running back, boom. So that's that's just different ways you can go ahead and manipulate the man coverage just to make your defense a little bit better, especially if you have a lead versus somebody, or if they're in a new formation you're not used to. Throw that man coverage out there. See if they like it. Some people don't like it, man. Uh, every man player is different. Some people love zone. Some people love playing against man. Some people love playing against zone. Some people love playing against the blitz. Some people hate coverage. You know, every opponent is better is different. So it's nice to have multiple defenses you can go to just to see what your opponent doesn't like. And that's one thing about man I love is 
playing an opponent multiple times and kind of learning their tendencies, what they like and what they don't like. And uh, playing man coverage in a couple games really gives me that opportunity to really get get a feel for their tendencies and, and know what they like to go to in certain situations in the game. But just learning that shading not only helps in zone, but it definitely helps, it helps in man coverage, will help your defense a lot. Now, like I said, get this video. We can get this video to 500 likes, and we will drop episode four before you guys know it. Thank you guys for all the feedback, man. Like I said, anything you need help with, put in the comments of any of these videos. I see it all. I might not respond because I've been getting a lot of feedback and everything, but I see all your comments, and I will get to every single thing that you guys need help with. Also, if you want the in-detail stuff, if you want the, the next-level tips, man, MaddenTurf.com, that link is below. You can still get the full premium membership. If you get the premium membership now, you'll get everything that we already put out all year so not only are you going to get the newest stuff but you're going to get the stuff from august you're going to get every little update that we've had so far since the game dropped so like i said 500 likes let's get it done boys thank you